1984 by George Orwell is a dystopian novel, not a business plan. This is really about making sure that we are prioritizing our most vulnerable community members and community members of color. Hundreds of technology providers use algorithms that show bias against black people, women, the elderly, and people with disabilities. That's not a edge case, that's the core functionality of this technology. Being anti-racist means that understanding through the use of root cause analysis that the history of surveillance in this country is rooted in slavery. It's clear to me that we cannot trust the industry or government agencies to use this technology appropriately, and it's incumbent upon us, local elected leaders, to protect our community from their abuse. These companies should be ashamed of themselves. This summer, Amazon did a PR stunt to dodge pressure by saying they would suspend police use of their facial recognition systems for a year. But yet, here they are in Portland, greasing the system with $24,000 to lobby against these bills because they as a company have made a fundamental investment in surveillance and thus in racism and authoritarianism and conformity. I do not think any parent wants their kids biometric data sold on the open market to the highest bidder. Even seemingly innocuous uses of facial recognition, like speeding up lines or using your face as a form of payment, normalize the act of handing over sensitive biometric information and pose a serious threat to security and civil liberties. Facial recognition is a runaway train running over our rights and endangering our communities in the name of profit, using fear as fuel. I encourage all of them to withdraw their fatally flawed products from the market and get out of the business. And in the meantime, they can get out of our city.